water. Have you ever so tried talking a fisherman into changing his, uh, his hook? It, it, it can be difficult. But if they, if they scientifically know that they can actually increase tuna fish catches by 26% and increase swordfish catch in size by up to 30%, they're going to try. To the fishing world that we have successfully documented because our domestic fisheries are a mere fraction of global sea turtle interactions, it was critical that our research concentrate on practical and transferable solutions that can hopefully be accepted by foreign fleets. The successful combination of large circle style hooks baited with fin fish for directed swordfish fishing has demonstrated a 90% reduction in loggerhead sea turtle interactions as compared to the control. This is huge. It's not often I get to stand, you know, to shake hands with these because I'm usually in the middle. But, but everywhere we look today, we see important turtle populations uh, disappearing. As I said before, we're especially concerned about leatherback populations. Uh, in, um, it's estimated that in 1980, there were over 90,000 leatherback turtles in the Eastern Pacific Ocean. Today, some experts tell us they estimate that less than 3,000 adult turtles remain in this region, a decline of roughly 95%. Uh, percent. We've been concentrated on the swordfish fishery for the last three years, and the largest fishery in the world is the tuna fishery, and we really have to begin shifting our effort and look in resolving some of the problems in the tuna fleet. We believe that the circle hook is appropriate in, in, in that fishery. The size is a question, and what the size of that hook, what the impact may be on the target species catch. Excuse me, this is Linda. Linda has it on the tight point. The turtle's going to bite down. And you're going to continue sliding down to your bottom out on the hook. Short jab down. And keeping the leader tight and parallel. 